Hello friends, welcome back to my channel for another G-Shock tutorial video. So for today's, I'm going to unboxing and reviewing this G-Shock model of GA-100B-4ADR. And before we get started, just make sure you subscribe to the channel just by clicking the red button down there so you can keep up to date with what's happening. So what we are waiting for? Let's do G-Shock. So this is the box guys. The model of the watch is GA-100B-4ADR. 5081 case number. So this is the barcode. Now let's open it. Inside the box. This is the canister can of the watch. And so this is the wa international warranty card, one year coverage battery and machine. So when you purchase uh, the watch, they will uh, write here on the warranty card, the model number, date of purchase, and stamp. So like this. This is the international warranty regulations inside the booklet. You can see all the business partner of G-Shock all over the world. And this is our company, Kuwait and Battle Brothers Establishment. So we are the authorized dealer here in Kuwait. And this is the manual booklet guide. So module number 5081, so inside the booklet, it's written here Chinese, Japanese, Arabic, Portuguese, English. And this is the watch. Specifications, case bezel, material, resin. Resin band. Magnetic resistant. Shock resistant. Mineral glass. And 200 meters water resistant. Size of case, lug to lug, from here to here, 55. So the diameter of the watch is 51.2 from here to here, diameter. And the thickness of the watch is 16.9 millimeters. Total weight is 70 grams. Other features you can see on your screen. Now let's take a look at the watch back of the case. So engraving the G logo, shock resist, anti-magnetic, shock absorbing structure. Casio, case number is 5081. And the model of the watch is GE-100B. Stainless steel back, Japan movement, and the watch is case in China. 
So what there is is 20 bar. That means 200 meters water resistance. It has four screws. Now let's go to buckle. So the buckle is solid steel. It's written here G-Shock. So behind is Casio China. The loop or keeper is resin. The band, it has a unique design. It's a little bit soft and it feels comfortable when you're wearing the watch. Now let's have a look in front of the watch. So on the bezel, you can see here on the upper bezel, it's within your G-Shock. Below is protection. On the screen, you can see the analog hand position, color red and white. So this is small uh, hand is for stopwatch. And uh, this negative uh, circle here, the small one, uh, is indicator of snooze, alarm, auto light, and SIG. And this uh, small circle here from my right side, so it will work if you like uh, press mode. See? So it, it works, right? When you're using the mode button. And we have here the negative display. So it has a digital hour and D. On the side of the bezel, so this is the design. It has four buttons, two from my uh, left side and two from my right side. So it has adjust, mode, reverse, and forward. So now I'm gonna teach you every functions of the buttons. So let's start here for adjust. So this is for adjusting the time. So when you press hold, adjust, after beep release, you can see here the three letters is blinking. So that is country. So Jeddah. So this is a forward button. So let's search Dubai. So Dubai now is 1015. DXB. And if you press one time adjust, so it will set automatically, guys. Now the analog hand and the digital hour are synchronized. Okay. So now we're cleared for the adjust button. So let's move to mode button. So mode, it has stopwatch, timer, world time, alarm, and display configuration. So normal display configuration. So mode, stopwatch. So this is the time. If you press forward, so this is the start. Now it's working right. Seconds. If you want to stop forward again and uh, this adjust button is for reset so now uh, come back to zero mode again for timer so TMR timer So when you are using the timer, same procedure when you are adjusting the time. So press adjust hold. 
after beep release so let's uh, press mode button for example um, so one minute then press one time adjust and then forward so now the timer is working So we are near So that is timer guys Mode again for world time So you can check other countries time So for example Lisbon So 6.19 p.m. Madrid, Paris, Rome, Berlin, Cairo, Egypt, Jeddah, Kuwait time, Jeddah, Dubai, 1019, Kabul, Delhi, Dhaka, Bangkok, Singapore. So, this is world time, 49 countries. You can check other uh, time of other countries. Alarm. How many alarms we have? Two, three, four. Four alarm and one snooze. So how to use the alarm? Same procedure when you are adjusting the time. Press adjust hold. After beep release, forward, for example, 3 in the morning. And then press one time adjust. Now the alarm is active. It has four alarms, guys. And normal display configuration. So this reverse button is light. And uh, this watch is auto light also. So how to activate the auto light? So press hold, press hold this uh, reverse button. And then it. The auto light now is active, the AL there. Okay, so when you uh, like this uh, put on your face 49 degrees hey guys. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, it works. So just uh, put uh, 49 degrees on your face. One more time. Okay, so that is auto light, guys. You see the indicator? The alarm and auto light is active. Okay. So this forward is for changing the timekeeping. So it has two timekeepings. Uh, you can change to months and date and digital hour. So now I will try this on my wrist.
date release of this watch last February 2016. The price of the watch is $160. In Philippine money is 8,000 pesos. Okay guys, so that is it. Uh, thanks so much for watching until the end. And I hope you learned from our video. And if yes, please comment down below for more suggestions. Like, share, and subscribe. And see you on my next vlog guys. Peace.